and Derek here today bringing you another video now for those returning subscribers you guys obviously know this is like way different of an intro I typically do and for those of you that are new to the channel welcome but anyways guys today's video is rather interesting now the reason why I say it's rather interesting is because I just stumbled across one of my old videos that I have posted about eight months ago and you know it shocked me it really shocked me I watched it and I was like wow my state of mind was just completely different and you know people are gonna go through things like that to where they think they want something or they think they know something specific and then you know it comes to find out they were wrong or whether or not they didn't really want that thing and that was my case this time so you guys are probably wondering what video did I stumble across and I happened to stumble across the video where it was titled it's time to let her go now that was totally referring to letting blue go as in selling her for another car you know what I actually have a better idea let's go back in time and take a look at possibly one of the worst mistakes I could have made for my YouTube career what is going on everyone Derek here today and as you can see this video has something to do with blue yes for all of you guys that follow me on the social medias and Facebook and all that stuff blue is officially for sale and kind of broke my heart when I was making that Craigslist ad but you know I think it's that time and it's happening really quick I have a couple five O's I'm actually looking at one's a 15 and like two are 14s or 13s I can't exactly remember but if you guys are interested in blue you can go check her out on Craigslist the link will be in the description and my asking price for the car to start off I put eight grand or best offer so and if eight grand might be a little too much for you just shoot me an offer the least I can say is no but I'm not gonna let this car go cheap because it's super rare and if you don't know much about the bright Atlantic blue color do some research and the car has 53,000 miles on it the body has 153,000 but like I said when I first got the car it got a rod knock and now it has a 2002 Mustang GT motor with 53,000 miles so the mileage is pretty low the um the exterior is really clean the interior you know it's I'd say it's about a 6 out of 10 it's it's a 99 you know it's gonna have some age to it overall the car's performance is great it's really peppy for a 4.6 like I've driven other 4.6s and this one honestly like especially with the 373s it's it's very peppy it sounds great you guys have heard it in many of my videos but that's what this video is about today um I wanted to let you guys know that she's officially for sale and I don't know, it kind of sucks to be honest with you because this car has been through hell and back with me and I've done so much to the car and when I first got it like you guys have seen that photo I'll put it up here again as you can see from the photo right here that's when I first got the car and it was pretty much stock besides the cover wheels it's definitely definitely come a long way and it's really grown close to me and it's been a heart of this YouTube channel and I know many of you guys are really upset that I'm selling it but I promise you mark my words I promise you this new car I get it will it will be that much better because I'm in it for the long run with this car you know I'm gonna have a car payment and stuff so mods aren't gonna come quick but with that we're growing super fast on YouTube and I'll be able to bring some mods to the car and to the channel for you guys to enjoy so that I promise you and here's something crazy to think about about four months ago when I first started the channel I was averaging about hundred subscribers a month the month of September and it's only the 26th we have gained 705 subscribers this month that is just freaking ridiculous i am so stoked on that you have no idea like imagine if i could average that for another six months Th that would be nuts but anyways guys if you enjoyed this video be sure to drop a like wow so after watching that video you guys saw that like my mindset was completely different i wanted to sell blue i wanted to buy a newer car didn't care about a car payment and blue was actually looking pretty stock you know she had those good old long samurai sword exhaust tips the deck lid was plasti dipped, it wasn't on bags, the headlights and taillights were different. So yeah, she's come a long way since that video, but it still surprises me that I really wanted to sell her. Alright everyone, so you're probably asking yourself why exactly I wanted to bring up this video and why I'm making this video today. Now the only reason why I wanted to go ahead and make this video for you guys is to give my opinion and try to give you the best advice I can possible. Now many of you out there message me on Instagram, on Facebook, and you're asking me what car you should buy or what car you should buy after you sell your car. And I just want to make one thing clear real quick, if I would have gone and sold Blue like eight months ago, I can tell you guys right now that half of you watching this video would not be here. And you know I don't regret it one bit, I was going to let her go for 7500 The guy was actually coming the weekend of the coyote swapped review I did after I did the coyote swapped review I told my friend I was like dude I can't sell my car what is going on everyone Derek here today bringing you a 2001 Mustang GT review this Mustang GT actually belongs to a really good friend of mine Chris Sipple and the great thing about this car is it has over 300,000 miles on the motor wait did I say has well it had 300,000 now it has a 2016 Mustang GT coyote swap <laughs> Thank you. 
and I'm so glad it worked out like that because everything happens for a reason and you know that was like my reason that was like to open my eyes and be like look even though it's a two valve and it's not fast but it can be worth more in the end with sentimental value so yeah, that's exactly why I'm making this video, everybody. If you're out there thinking about selling your old Mustang or your old Honda and you know you want to upgrade to something cool, if it runs and performs fine, guys, just put the money into it. It makes it that much more fun. And at the end of the day, you can just look back at it and be like, wow, it's come a long way. So that's all I wanted to do this video for, guys, was just, you know, just make sure you know what you're doing. Just make sure you know what you're getting yourself into when it comes to car payments. And like myself, this car's paid off with 56,000 miles. I would have been an idiot to sell this car, and not to mention it's Red Atlantic Blue. I just was not in the right state of mind and everybody is going to experience the car itch. That's what I'm trying to tell you. Don't jump the gun. Just do not jump the gun. Make sure you have everything planned out. If you are getting a new car, it's totally fine. But like I said, anyways, I want to thank you guys for watching and I'm sorry if this is on the shorter side, you know, but I felt like this video was needed because there's many people out there that are lost like I was at one point, but I can tell you what. I wouldn't trade it for the world, I really wouldn't. But with that everyone, if you enjoyed today's video, make sure you leave your boy a thumbs up, it means a lot to me and it helps me out. Drop a comment with any questions or concerns or if you just want to say hello, that's cool too. Most importantly fam, hit that subscribe button, 16K, we'll be there next week. But until next time, see you guys later. Too many thoughts on my mind, I can't sleep at night so I just keep writing. I don't need no help, I don't need opinions so don't waste my time then. I just been living online, my city don't show me no love and that's fine. Fuck local radio stations, I got more plays than all of these rappers combined. I'm going, I'm going again, I've been going in, I'm fed up with so many things.